when I'm on the football pitch is where I'm always happy because this is what I love to do. The feeling is just really pure joy. When you see a kid just coming out of Ottawa and doing the things he's done, I think surreal is probably a good word. What is his upside? What is his potential? It's huge. David is in, and David has scored! The goal scorer, a player that can play as a striker, as a number nine, that oozes calmness. Talent, skill, touch on the ball. I think he can go right to the top. I, there's, there's nothing really stopping him. You just got a sense that this kid is different. He will be one of the players that we will remember for a long time. And scoring is Jonathan David. He is devastating in front of goal. Jonathan is a very um, unique personality. The way he manages emotions are different. He had kept a lot to himself. I think he is a person who is in two worlds, his football world and his personal world and it is very difficult to enter in his personal world. It's a misty winter night in Belgium. And once again, Ottawa's Jonathan David is the centerpiece for club KAA Ghent in the Belgian first division scoring goals seemingly at will. He's the top scorer in the Belgian league just a year and a half later after moving, being a professional with the first team of Ghent. It's quite remarkable, it does not happen every day. He can score in all different position, in all different ways. It's amazing, in such an age, Oh, I must say, I, I never saw something like that before. The pressure heaped on the 20-year-old's shoulders weighs heavy. This is, after all, European football. And yet, David remains characteristically cool. When he scored his first hat-trick, well, maybe the first time that I even saw a little bit emotion after the game for him. At that time, you also saw, OK, it is still a kid. Anyone that really knows me personally knows that I'm a very calm guy, so I guess that, that helps me a lot on the pitch also. A couple of the lads were nicknamed him the Iceman, you know? He's just, he's just so cool and calm, doesn't say much, got this demeanor that nothing phases him. Killer instinct, but no expression to it. David was born in Brooklyn to Haitian parents. They moved back to Haiti when he was three months old and eventually emigrated to Ottawa when Jonathan was six. But Jonathan's dad, Jean, kept his job in Haiti, keeping one foot in each country. C'est comme ça, c'est comme ça que tu perds un titre, ça. Quand tu perds des petits matchs comme ça. Mais t'as vu, c'est qui, c'est qui cage aujourd'hui? Uh, yeah, my dad is, a, is an accountant. And since we, we moved to, to Canada, you know, it's always been back and forth until now. He's a reflection of the family he came from. Uh, his father is very, uh, very quiet, very kind man. From his mother's side, you know, you can see where all the discipline, you know, in him comes from. She pushed him to be a good man, to be a good person. What can you tell me about her relationship with Jonathan? Um, That's her best friend. <laughs> Pardon? That's her best friend. Yeah, <laughs> they love each other. It's, he's literally like the definition of a mama's boy. We, I remember watching a game in the basement and every time something would happen, like let's say Jonathan get pushed, she gets up and yells. <laughs> she just, she was very intense. She loves watching him. David played his youth soccer with the Gloucester Hornets and Ottawa Internationals. But even as his talent blossomed, his mother, Rose, always maintained his priorities. 
for her it was always school, school. School is the most important thing, you know. If I, if I had, a, let's say, a test the next day, or I had homework to do and I had training the same day, she would say, no, you're not going to training. You know, you have to do your homework. She would call the coach and say, he's not coming to training. I did try to convince her and tell her that, you know, this time I promised her that it won't, you know, won't happen again. I'll, and I'll talk to him about his responsibility at school. She told me that for him to, to learn and to understand what she expects, that he would have to, he would have to stay home that time and hopefully it would, it would have to be the last. And she was right, it was the last time. At 17 years old and with his mother's blessing, Jonathan committed to playing for Ghent in Belgium. But it was on Canada's national team where he emerged as a star. Here we go! Jonathan David. He cannot stop scoring goals. He believes if you put him in that environment, he's going to score goals. And I love that about him. Jonathan David is in, and just like that, Canada are two goals to the good. I think that you have the perfect role model for, for, uh, for Canadians. He represents our morality, our uh, values, our ethics. In 2018, David moved to Ghent's first squad, and while coming off the bench, quickly became one of the most dangerous goal scorers in Belgium. And Ghent have the lead. Jonathan David, the Canadian international, with his first touch of the game, I think. In 2019, now a starter, he moved to the very top of Belgium's scores garnering the attention of some of Europe's biggest clubs. Although everybody in Belgium are talking about him as the golden boy and he will do everything and what, uh, what is the price for him and when will he go and all this kind of, no, no, he will still be the same. He keep the feet on the ground and, and stay calm and work hard. I told Jonathan by the age of 23, 24, he's, he has the potential to be in the top five clubs in the world. On December 2, 2019, uh, he lost his mother. His mother did have a lingering issue for a couple of years, so which I know that Jonathan kept inside him for a little bit. I'm not someone that really opens up to everyone about everything, so obviously talking, talking about it, it's, it's emotional, you know, it's emotional. And thinking about all the memories, it's, it's emotional. He doesn't always show everything that he's feeling or experiencing. But um, you know from the relationship that it had a very heavy effect on him. I didn't know how serious it was because obviously when I'm away, they don't really want to tell me, you know, how serious everything is. They just tell me a little bit just so I don't get worried. And because my mom always wanted me to be focused on, on what I'm doing. Speaking to his family and his father as well before her passing, she want, she didn't want Jonathan to see her, you know, in, in the condition she was. You know, it was it was a shock to me because I knew that you know it could have happened, but I was just hoping that I could have seen her one more time or just tell her how much I love her and thank her for everything she did for me. And really, yeah. David spent two weeks at home in Ottawa with his family, attending his mother's funeral. But a day after Christmas, he returned to Ghent with a renewed purpose. Jonathan David after the ball. Kirp, score. I always do my trademark. And obviously in my head was, this one's for, for you, for my mom. He just wants to make her proud and he plays for her, so. She wants to see him succeed, That's, we know that. When the Belgian league suspended play in March, David was tied as the league's top goal scorer. It's another goal for the 20-year-old, his 23rd of the season. 
but the emotion he experienced from the loss of his mother definitely heightened all his attention and all his focus on the pitch. I think his football has helped him process the whole thing, and I think the support that he got from the fans in Belgium, I think it brought everything to peace for him when he got back to, to the football field, because for him, that's where he'll always honor his mom. It is a monumental day for Canadian soccer and Canadian sport. On August 11th, Jonathan took the next leap in his young career, signing a historic contract with Lille of France's Ligue 1, one of the top five leagues in the world. Lille is a perfect destination right now because that club and that sporting director, Louis Campos, will build around him and make him the key cog in that puzzle. It's a big accomplishment because, you know, that was always my goal, the, one of my dreams when I was young. So today to really accomplish it, it's, it's really amazing. Jonathan is turning his dreams into reality, something his mother foresaw so many years prior. She knew that there was a rising star coming. She knew that we were having, I used to speak to, to her weekly after every game. She knew something special was coming. She's done a, a fantastic job in raising a very good person. Her character was a big part of who Jonathan is today. When I talk about the humility and the character and the work ethic, like he talked about how he, she had instilled that in him. Yeah, I think my mom would be, would be very proud of me. I think she would, she would have so many emotions that maybe she, she would just cry. But I would know that, that that means that she's happy for me and very proud. <laughs>